Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at the S3 Object Lock and S3 Glacier Vault Lock. You can use S3 Object Lock to store objects using a WORM model. WORM stands for Write Once Read Many. A WORM storage is an immutable storage. Once data is written, it cannot be modified. Object Lock can help you prevent objects from being deleted or overwritten for a fixed time or indefinitely. You can use S3 Object Lock to meet regulatory requirements that require worm storage, or add an extra layer of protection against object changes and deletion. To use Object Lock, you need to enable Object Lock at the bucket level. You can only enable Object Lock during the bucket creation. Object Lock works only in version buckets. Retention periods and legal holds apply to individual object versions. You can set retention mode for individual object versions when you upload the object, or set the default retention mode for the entire bucket. S3 Object Lock provides two retention modes, their governance mode and compliance mode. These retention modes apply different levels of protection to your objects. You can apply either retention mode to any object version, that is protected by Object Lock. In governance mode, users cannot override or delete an object version or alter its lock settings, unless they have special permissions. With governance mode, you protect objects against being deleted by most users, but you can still grant some users permission to alter the retention settings, or delete the object if necessary. In compliance mode, a protected object version cannot be overwritten or deleted by any user, including the root user in your AWS account. When an object is locked in compliance mode, its retention mode cannot be changed, and its retention period cannot be shortened. Compliance mode ensures that an object version cannot be overwritten or deleted for the duration of the retention period. A retention period protects an object version for a fixed amount of time. When you place a retention period on an object version, S3 stores a timestamp in the object version's metadata to indicate when the retention period expires. After the retention period expires, the object version can be overwritten or deleted, unless you also placed a legal hold on the object version. You can place a legal hold on an object version. A legal hold prevents an object version from being overwritten or deleted, without specifying the duration. The legal hold remains in effect until it's removed. Legal holds can be freely placed and removed on object lock enabled bucket by any user who has the S3 put object legal hold permission. Legal holds are independent of retention periods. You can place and remove legal holds regardless of whether the specified object version has a retention period set. Placing a legal hold on an object version doesn't affect the retention mode or retention period for that object version. For example, if you place a legal hold on an object version, while it's also protected by a retention period. When the retention period expires, the object doesn't lose its worm protection. Rather, the legal hold continues to protect the object until removed. Similarly, if you remove a legal hold while an object version has a retention period in effect, the object version remains protected until the retention period expires. S3 Glacier Vault Lock allows you to easily enforce compliance controls on each individual Glacier Vault with a Vault Lock policy. You can specify controls such as worm model with a vault lock policy, and lock the policy from future edits. You can enable the vault lock by attaching a vault lock policy to your vault. Once you've created the vault lock policy, you have 24 hours to validate or delete the policy, before completing the vault lock process. If you do not complete the vault lock process in 24 hours, your vault lock policy will automatically be deleted. Once the vault lock process is completed, it locks your policy from further changes. A locked policy cannot be deleted or altered after the completion. S3 Glacier enforces the control set in the vault lock policy to help achieve your compliance objectives. In this episode, we've learned S3 Object Lock and Glacier Vault Lock. You can use S3 Object Lock to store objects using the WORM model. It can help you prevent objects from being deleted or overwritten. S3 Object Lock provides two retention modes, their governance mode and compliance mode. Governance mode prevents objects from being deleted or overwritten by some users, unless they have special permissions. Compliance mode prevents objects deletion or update made by any users, including the root user. You can lock objects for a fixed time with retention periods, or lock objects indefinitely with legal holds. When you upload objects to S3, you can apply a retention mode for each object version. You can also set the default retention mode for the whole bucket. S3 automatically apply object lock by default, if no retention mode is specified during the object upload. 
S3 Glacier Vault Lock allows you to easily enforce compliance controls on each individual glacier vault with a vault lock policy. Once a vault is locked, the vault lock policy can no longer be changed. Okay, that's all for S3 Object Lock and Glacier Vault Lock. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudomy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudomy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning.